Hi, welcome back to the Get A Brew channel. Today we're in a brew garage and we're going to look at brew day water calculations. So let's be clear from the off, it's going to differentiate um, depending on what system you use at home, whether that be a brew in a bag setup, a all-in-one brewing system or a three vessel system. Calculating water volumes isn't difficult but there's a few variables which will be specific to your system that you need to take into consideration. One of those is the dead space within the system, whether that be the amount of liquid that falls below the tap or something similar. A level of liquid for which that you can't transfer to the next stage or transfer into the fermenter. There's also the evaporation rate. Now there's rule of thumb figures which we're going to cover very quickly in this video but um, it could vary greatly depending on what system you're using and at what power you have that system on. On my particular system I get a boil off rate on average of 4.5 litres per hour. Then there's also losses that you're going to encounter from trub and dry hopping. Now the advancement in hop products um, is now allowing us to minimise those losses with some new products like Incognito, Lupo Max and Spectrum. But today we're going to look at the water calculations for a brew day. So if you have a recipe and you're brewing say 25 litres of beer, uh, for example, and you've got 5 kilograms of malt, you're wanting to mash in with roughly three times the volume in liquid as there is in kilograms. So if you have 5 kilograms, the minimum that you want to be mashing in with is 15 litres. So you've taken your 15 litres, you've mashed in uh, your 5 kilograms of malt. What that then uh, triggers is there's an absorption rate. Again, the rule of thumb figure here is 1 litre per kilogram. So 15 litres of strike water, 5 kilograms of malt added. So we then have 10 litres of wort or first runnings if that's your preferred term. So we've got our 15 litres of uh, strike water, we've added 5 kilograms of malt, that then creates 10 litres due to the absorption rate of 1 kilogram to 1 litre. So we've 10 litres of wort or first runnings if that's your preferred choice. Taking the volume of first runnings, what we want to do now is hit our target pre-boil volume. So the difference between your wort that you've created or first runnings and the target pre-boil volume is the amount that you're going to sparge. And the recipe that I normally would make would be 25 litres. If I have a boil off rate of 4.5 litres, that's a total target pre-boil volume of 29.5 litres. If I've got 10 litres of wort created, the difference then is obviously the 29.5 taking away the 10, which means that we're going to sparge 19.5 litres. So if we're sparging, we're rinsing the grains and extracting the fermentable sugars from the grains. So it's taking the starches, turning it into fermentable sugars during the mash. So you've got your pre-boil volume of 29.5 litres. Then there's the evaporation rates. So the evaporation rate will be different depending on the power of your system. So if you lose 4.5 litres, that takes you down to 25 litres. So you've got 25 litres of beer, which is going into the fermenter. Then again, we're going to have more losses. So losses from trub, which is um, from the yeast flocculating down into the bottom of the fermentation vessel, and losses from dry hopping for the absorption of the fiber um, in the hops. So that then produces our package volume. So I've tried to create a graphic, a four-sided uh, square showing the four stages to assist you. And I've tried to talk you through my normal approach to this and it will be different for every system. For example, we have our own brewery and we use a Brewix microbrewery system. My head brewer prefers to have a very wet mash and generally sparges to achieve his target pre-boil volume through experience. And he uses that wet mash approach to nearly all beer styles and it works really effectively because we've been brewing award-winning beer for years now. So don't get too caught up on the sums on this, you can refer to the flow chart that we've created online now. And if you need any assistance, hit us up with a phone call and a free phone number, messages in the uh, social media, comments below, whatever suits, and we'll try our best to get back to you as quickly as we can. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy brewing.